Hey guys, in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can schedule your Instagram posts for free from your desktop so that you can stay organized. Now I know for a lot of people posting on the fly to Instagram is incredibly overwhelming. Trying to put your statuses into the tiny little screen, go and find your hashtags, do all the things, find the perfect photo. It can be incredibly overwhelming and it can often mean that you're inconsistent and don't actually follow the plan that you set out for yourself. And that's why I love scheduling and that's why I love doing it from the computer, from the desktop, so that I'm not being distracted on my phone. I don't know about you, but I actually find it really difficult to go into the app and not start scrolling or watching Instagram stories. So to be able to do it from the desktop is actually a really great way to stay on task as well as to stay organized. And remember guys, if you want all the best content marketing, social media tips, tricks, and advice, remember to hit that subscribe button below and also hit the little bell notification next to it. And that's going to alert you whenever I post a new video, which is every Wednesday. So let's dive over to the desktop and hop into it. Okay guys, this is the app I want to show you. I use Buffer for a lot of my scheduling and I find it super awesome. You don't need a paid account in order to be able to use this for Instagram scheduling. So what you need to do is connect up your accounts. Make sure you have a business account in Facebook, a business manager account, I'm sorry, because you will need that in order to connect your Instagram account um, to the business manager in order to be able to use it. So what, I, what you can actually do is come along and pre-schedule times in here. So I did that once upon a time based on my Instagram analytics, as you can see. Um, however, you can totally just pick any time. Like I can just click there and all of a sudden it's April 4th, 4 or 5 p.m. Okay, now this is how I would go through and set up a status. So if you go to this particular website, appsforlifehost.com, click me, what you can actually do is come here and put your status in here. And I like to do that first because what it does is it creates the correct spacing in your captions so that when you post it on Instagram, it doesn't all bunch up and look like one big wall of text. So I wrote it in that other app that you saw, and I just write it there because it's just easier. And then I copied and pasted it in here. So you can see I've got my line breaks here and I don't have to use a full stop or a dash or anything like that. You can also see that I've used an emoji at the end of this sentence here. Typically, if I was to do that straight into the Instagram app, it would, um, it would mean that this would happen when I post it. It would just all bunch up. It wouldn't create the line break. So, Post it in here exactly how you want it to look and then hit convert and copy to clipboard and that will save it. And then what I do is go into buffer. I go to the day or the time that I want to use. So let's just use this one for argument's sake and then copy and paste it in there. Now the reason I use this status is because I actually want to show you something down the bottom. You'll notice if we scroll down that this is actually too long and we can see that because of the red uh, line over the top of these words here. So I either need to adjust my caption so that it fits because you only get 2200 characters in Instagram. So again I need to either adjust this so it fits or I need to get rid of maybe this part here and then pop that in the comments. Now I cannot do that from Buffer and I believe you cannot do that from any app. If you are going to post in the comments, like if you're wanting it to post all as one caption with um, part of it continued in the comments, you will need to do that manually. So the next step is to pop in hashtags. And again, I have hashtags that I've um, previously saved earlier. Now what you can do is simply pop it down the bottom here. Um, but again, you'll see that I run out of room for characters. So, so you need to ensure that it all fits if you're wanting to put the actual hashtags in the caption. I personally care far more about the caption and having an excellent caption than I do about whether or not the hashtags will fit in the initial caption. So for me, even when I schedule a lot of the time, um, I will just schedule the caption and the image and then I will go in after and put the hashtags in the first comment. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't really make any difference to the actual um, discoverability of your post, whether you put the hashtags in the caption 
or in the first comment. So please don't stress about that. Just do whatever suits you. A lot of people don't write captions that are as, that are as long as me, and so you'll be able to fit them in the initial post. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is upload our image. So I'm just going to go run through and grab an image of mine. Okay, and that will just upload now. I'll take a second to upload. There's my image down the bottom there. Now, if you have an image at 1080 by 1350, which is the bigger image that sits on Instagram, it will automatically post to that particular sizing. So when you go in through the Instagram app, you normally have to hit the little arrows on the side, but through Buffer, it automatically posts the correct size for you. You don't have to worry too much about that. So the other thing I like here is that you can also type in a location. So I'm going to type Gold Coast and it comes up with the same things that come up in Instagram. So this was actually a QT on the Gold Coast. So there we go. So I can actually tag that there and you can also tag people as well. So I'll just quickly show you that. So let's say I wanted to tag 11 Lights Media. The downfall is that you do need to know the handle, um, so it won't pre-populate handles for you. Um, but, I mean, if you're tagging someone, you should probably know their handle anyway because it's bad form to sort of be just tagging people all the time for no reason. So, so now that we have that, we can hit Schedule Post. And that's sitting there ready to post. You can come back and edit the post if you're not happy with something or you want to save it and go away and find some hashtags and come back and pop them in. I'm just going to edit the time here so that it posts on my Instagram. Um, you can be 10 days ahead just using the free version of Buffer. And it's a really, really great way to stay organized, make sure that you're staying consistent on the platform and and show up for your people. And that's what we're all about. We're just all about making this process easier so that you can show up for your people. And there you have it, guys. So now that you guys know exactly how to schedule from your desktop for free, I wanna remind you that I have the Instagram growth checklist in the description down below. So make sure that you pick that up. That's gonna help you grow your Instagram organically like we do every single day for our clients. And I want you to grab that resource because it's absolutely jam packed, full of ideas and full of ways for you to grow your account. So I will see you back here next week for another video. Bye guys.